non-partisan a people are political. We have PDP, APC, WIP, whatever it is, we do not represent any political party here. So guys, you can see that the Nigerian youths are insisting that they are not going to stop this protest. They've shown resilience in the presence of so many threats. We all know all the attempts to truncate the progress of this protest. But I tell you, the Nigerian youths have vowed that they will keep protesting until their demands are met. They are asking that the INEC chairman be sacked and be prosecuted. They are equally saying that a fresh election should be conducted because they are not taking the election that happened on the 25th of February for an election. We all know what happened during that election, how INEC did not follow the guideline that they gave to the Nigerian people. We were told that results will be uploaded real time on the INEC portal, but that didn't happen. The youths are saying that they are not taking this election for an election. They want this election to be cancelled and a new election be conducted. So guys, let me allow you to watch this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you.
divas, the divas, oh. I like you, the divas, the divas. I make you the pivas, the pivas. 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 By struggle, by struggle. Freedom, by struggle, by struggle. Freedom, freedom, come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom, come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom, come. Greatest Nigerian people. Ever timeless Nigerian people. Yes. Greatest Nigerian people. Yes. We're not tired. Oh, yeah. Are we tired? No. The national anthem. We are going to build a nation where justice, peace shall reign. We are here once more under the umbrella of free Nigerian movement. We are a coalition, non-partisan, a people are political. We have PDP, APC, WIP, whatever it is, we do not represent any political party here. We are Nigerians. We are Igbos, Hausas, Yorubas, Kenuris. We are Fulanese. We are thieves. We are Benin, we are Edo, we are anything you can think of, we are Shekiri. Yes. Here we are Nigerians, yes. and we must respect the nation Nigeria. Yes. Here we are again at the Embassy of the United States of America. Here we are again to lend our voice to say that we are here before we had done our deposition. We are here again to join our brothers and our sisters who, as we speak, are getting ready to march at the White House in the United States of America. Here we are to say that what happened on the 25th of February 2023 is nothing but a rape on democracy. Nigerians, are we accepting that result? Nigerians are saying, as the Italians would say, capital rejectamento. It does not happen. Here we are to say that what happened on the 25th of February is our mandate that was stolen. We know that when you take something from a child, you raise your hands up. At some point, your hands will begin to hurt that you must return it to the rightful owner. Yes. What are our demands? We say, the man who went to Chatham House, the man who gone everywhere, where we spent 305 billion, they requested for extra 50 billion. We do not know if the 50 billion was given or not. Some argue that it is 355, some argue it's 305. Be it 305, 355, but it appears we have wasted that money. Yes. In all things, we are guaranteed that our vote will be transmitted. Yes, live. Did we have our vote transmitted in real time? No. Did I make it to their promise? No. And we say and we demand that Professor Mahmoud Yakobu should be prosecuted for the things he has done on the table. Yeah. Yeah. We also demand the total cancellation of the 25th February yeah. election. Yeah. We also demand that every single individual that was hot in Lagos, in Rivers, in Kano, that they should be compensated. Yeah. Yeah. 
We also demand that families that lost individuals, that they must be compensated for those things and those injustices that happened to them. Yes. We have fellow Nigerians who on the day of election, we are not allowed to vote in certain states yes. because of their because of their ethnicity, yes. because of the way they looked, and we say, is that the Nigeria we stand for? No. This is not the Nigeria we stand for. Yes. We stand for equity. Yes. We stand for fairness. Yes. We stand for brotherhood. Yes. Therefore, we state we stand for justice. Yes. We stand for peace. Yes. We are here as a people as a peaceful people, yes. even when we have gathered before at the Unity Fountain, those who want our trouble went in the Unity Fountain to foment trouble. What did we do? We, we, moved, them. we moved away. Yes. That tells you that we are a peaceful people. Yes. Even when they have tried to cause trouble, all they want is that we march. They will go and destroy things and say, oh, look at them. They are the ones causing trouble. And we say we will not cause trouble in Nigeria. Yes! We conclude by saying, one, we want the prosecution of INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yatou. Yes! Two, we want the cancellation of the 2023 presidential election. Yes! We want everyone that was hurt, killed, demoralized, done every evil, that they should be compensated. Yes. And finally, that there should be a Truth and Reconciliation Committee brought together in order to restore hope. Because if these things that we are demanding are not done, Tell me how you will convince 10 million young Nigerians who came out, whom you have convinced that Beavers is going to make their vote count. And they took and you know they went out in sun, in rain, and they registered to vote. When they finally, finally believed the elders that I have lied to them, that their votes will count, and they came out to cast their vote. 10 million young Nigerians, new registrants, suddenly. What are they going to go back with that the elders have lied to them? Yes. Would they tell you, you know, they will tell you, and we hear them say this, that their vote no longer counts. We must restore their hope in Nigeria. Yes. We must restore their hope in Nigeria. Yes. We cannot cost Nigeria because when people say Nigeria is a zoo, we say Nigeria is no zoo. Yes. Because we do things and we are human beings. You see, when you leave the shores of Nigeria and you see the things Nigerians do, be it in the U.S. in America, that when you come home and people tell you Nigeria is a zoo. No, Nigeria is no zoo. We must do things differently. And Nigeria, we demand, must change in our lifetime. Yes! We want a Nigeria when the son of no one does not need to know anybody to become someone. Yes. On that note, we say, these are our demands. Nigerians, is that our demand? Yes! Are these our demands? Yes! Are these our demands? Yes! When we remember I like water come away, I I I I When I remember I like water run away, me I so say much but I want to use this opportunity to break the conscience of the mothers of the wives of this men that we have been on the street for 14 days today making a demand and they are proving their ears if they have wives like us mothers like us Daughters like us, today we stand in agreement. 
I will prick your conscience. An African Nigerian is suffering. And you have more than enough. You see the cry of people. Talk to this man. Buhari's wife. Mahmoud Yakubu's wife. IG of police wife. All stakeholders in Nigeria. Mothers in Nigeria. We are calling you people out. Enough is enough of the sufferings we are going through. Election 25th of February 2023 is no election. Election 18th of March 2023 was no election. And that is not the Nigeria we want. We want a work in Nigeria. We want in Nigeria that be so peaceful. In Nigeria where unity. In Nigeria where justice. In Nigeria void of impunity. We are out because we can do something. And we are not going back until our needs are met. Before I speak, in solidarity with our brothers in the United States, I would like to see the songs, one of the particular songs that was sung by one of the greatest human rights activists alive. I say it's alive because his memory is lived with us. The great Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Democracy. Yes. Democracy started in the Greek. 
but he came down to America and they have been practicing true democracy. We have been here before, we are here this afternoon again to plead with the American government to advise the Nigerian government that what happened on the 25th of February 2023, that election remains a sham. That election in no way represented the will of the Nigerian people. That election remained a rape on our democracy. The single right of every each citizen is our right to choose their own leaders. And when that right is taken away from that citizen, those taking away the rights of some people are calling for a banana republic. Yes. And Nigeria is not a banana republic. At all. So we are here to reiterate again, calling for the cancellation of that election. Yes. For the outright cancellation of the February 25 general election. Yes. We are also calling that the man that sat to announce a winner Oh, yeah. Even when guidelines were not followed, one of the simple guidelines is that for anybody to be declared winner of any election, that person must have scored 25% in the FCT. Yeah. The man that was declared to be winner of that election did not meet that criteria of the law. Yeah. Did he meet that criteria of the law? Oh. It's totally no, no. No. I want to say. That this same man forfeited over 400,000 US dollars in the United States of America. Yeah. 450,000 US dollars yeah. he forfeited. Drug money. And as a student of law, I know that anytime there is a forfeiture, crime was committed. Yes. And it is very clear that Ahmed Bora Tinubu is a criminal. Yeah. He's a criminal that should be in jail and should not be the president of Nigeria. Yeah. In the United States of America. So we Nigerians we are surprised that America is just watching a criminal that was convicted on their land become the president of Nigeria. That is why we are here to remind the American people. We are here to remind the American people that the man that was convicted of drug crimes over two, 20 years ago. Is becoming the president of Nigeria. Yes, are we Nigerians? As you can hear, Nigerians are saying God for you. It was the president of America, Barack Obama, that said that in Africa we want strong institutions, not strong men. That is why we are calling that the strong man called Mahmoud Yakubu should be arrested, should be number one, sir. Should be arrested yes. and prosecuted. Yes. 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 So declaring someone that did not win an election a winner is a crime. Yes. Yes. That did not follow guidelines of law. Yes. So we are saying that Mamu Yakubu should be sacked immediately yes. by, by President Muhammad Buhari. Yes. Should be arrested immediately. Yes. And to Number three, he should be prosecuted. Yes. And sentenced to prison. Yes. So shall it be. Yes. We are also calling. The prison must be in Nigeria. Before. We are also calling. The political rhetoric of our leaders in a state like Lagos. Mm. Particularly when there was a separation between the Igbo and the Yoruba people. We are saying those involved. And I want to mention names. Someone like MC Olumo should be arrested yes. and prosecuted also immediately. Yes. That political court should be arrested. Yes. MC, what you call him again? Olumo. MC Olumo should be arrested by yes. security agents for firming the embers of this disunity of this unity in this country. Yes. We don't want a repeat of Rwanda. Yes. Thank you very much. I would like to hand over to one of our sisters, our mothers here in our midst, to also make some depositions.
Let us Nigerian people. on the 18th of March. We are therefore coming here. We are not, we are not violent people. Yes. We are ordinary Nigerians. Yes, sir. When you look around, you will see Igbos, Yorubas, Hausas, Epic, Fulani is everyone. You will find Christians, Muslims, you will find pagans, White cup, white cup. Even Babalawos, everyone, we are all here. And today we are saying the same thing. And that same thing is here. We have repeated it over and over again. Someone is here. Professor Yakub Master and Mohammed Yakub, we haven't done well. Mahmoud Yakub. Mahmoud Yakub. Professor Mahmoud Yakub. You have not done well at all. So we are calling the right authorities. I can see we have police officers here. We have DSS. We have Penguin security agents. We are calling on all of you. We are not here to fight. We are here to demand that Professor Mahmoud be prosecuted. Yes, yes, we are here to demand that the 25th February election be cancelled. Yes. That's why we are here today. Yes. So we are also calling for those that have been disenfranchised for all of them to be compensated. Yes. That's why we're here today. America, I know you stand for freedom and justice. Yes, sir. That is why we're here today. And we're calling upon every citizen of this world, every citizen, to join us in calling out this injustice, to join us in calling out this impunity. We're not going to rest until you hear us, everyone. So this is why we're here today. Freedom coming by struggle. Freedom coming by struggle. By struggle. Freedom. Freedom come by struggle. By struggle. Freedom come by struggle. By struggle. Freedom. Freedom come by struggle. By struggle. Freedom Struggle, freedom. Our vote must come to must come to our vote. Must come to must come to our vote. Now we're gonna do what we usually normally do. We we'll take a bow. We we'll take our hand. Up. Freedom come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom comes by struggle, by struggle. Freedom comes by struggle. That's the way they mention it. It's broke. Bros, the Mahmoud. This is a soft thing after this. No, it's light. Oh, it's a good song. 
kuwenta.
Yes, you can see that this protest is not stopping anytime soon. Honestly, the Nigerian youths want justice. We want justice. Aine cannot just, you know, cheat over 200 million Nigerians. And then you, are, you expect the youth to keep quiet. They want this election cancelled. They just want this election cancelled. Let a fresh election be reconducted. That is what the Nigerian youths are asking. They are not asking for too much. We all know that INEX spent over 300 billion Naira in this election. But you know, we have nothing to show for that. We can't just allow that money to waste. We want a fresh election. Let a fresh election be conducted so that the people will have the opportunity to choose who governs them. Let the people, you know, decide who they want, not our politicians deciding for us. And that is what the youths are asking for. They are not asking for too much. Everybody knows that something went wrong during this election. Something went wrong. And, you know, we can't just leave it like that. The Nigerian youths, the Nigerian people are asking for a fresh election. They also want the INEC chairman to pay for his sins. He should come out and, you know, surrender himself. He should resign from that position. He should be arrested. He should be prosecuted so that whosoever will be the next INEC chairman will also come in not to come and mess up, but will take this responsibility very serious. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. And let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please, if you don't mind, buy us a super chat below. Thank you.